going on everybody this is a different video from what i normally make uh but it is call, call of duty related so today i'm going to show you how to edit and render your tiktok videos on your computer because i've noticed some people they um they want to get back into content creation or they want to start it up again and so they want to uh tiktok is a great place to start it it might be difficult to transfer followers and viewers but it's a great place to get noticed on because the algorithm focuses on helping smaller creators in certain ways that YouTube, Twitter, Instagram does. So first what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you have project media open so you can just drag everything. You wanna go up to here, file, and then hit new. And then I have a preset, it's called TikTok. So, but if you guys just copy down all my settings right here, um, it should uh, make it the same exact thing. Uh, one of the main things is making sure the height and width are different. So your width is actually going to be 1080 and your height's going to be 1920. So it's going to you're basically just going to be flip flopping it if you have it from a normal uh, computer video. And then make sure you have your frame rate and 59.940. And then copy everything. Motion blur type is you want to be Gaussian. Full resolution render quality. I actually want to change that to best. I don't know why that was on good. And then if you're only going to use Sony Sony Vegas for editing TikToks. You're going to start new, all new projects with these settings, but I also edit my videos on this, so I don't want to do that. And then just hit OK once you have all the settings done. So you notice over here in the preview window, it is more of a phone landscape than a computer. So once you have that, you know you're good. So you want to come up here to this yellow file, hit open, then just find the video that you want to edit. And this is my pouncing clip from when I got gold. So and then so i don't want my audio and if you don't want all your audio all you can do is just click on the video and hit you and then it will separate the video from the audio excuse me so that you can delete one of them and then so from there you can actually grab or hit insert video track down here and it will put another video track on top of it and you can grab the video again bring it down here and once again you can get rid of the audio you should only have one audio just in case if you slightly move it or something so it doesn't really do anything and you hit delete track up here and so what you want to do is you want to click on the bottom video okay and then you want to come all the way over to over here and hit more and then hit track motion and then so you're going to come up here once you have this window if it's collapsed just drag it out make it bigger and what you want to do is grab the top corner of the border and just drag it up and if you notice over on the preview screen it starts to extend so now you have your normal video in the very middle and then you have an extended video over in the background so once all where all that black was it is now just it is now just covered with your video so that's an easy way to do that it makes it look good it makes it look like an average like kind of gameplay TikTok because it's weird to have it so you just have the black screen or the black bars on the top and bottom so another thing you can make it to look really nice is you come over here to hit video fx uh right next to project media and you come over here to gaussian blur okay and make sure you click on the bottom to, on the bottom uh video and then you can do medium blur light blur extreme blur it's all the same thing it's just the different preset levels but you can change those so i'll go medium blur make sure you drag it down so it's at the bottom video and so it blurs out the bottom the top of it and then you can change these you can just experiment with them you can use the slider to drag it around you can you can do whatever you really want and then like you don't want it to be too blurry but you don't want it to be like that that that's that's pretty good i know it's not even but you can do 0 0.0136 i think it looks really nice that looks good enough and then so once you're done you can you can actually save it so if you if you really like this you can hit preset and you can just type in uh 0.0136 tiktok blur or you can just type in tiktok blur uh it doesn't matter what you put but and then if you just hit save then it should automatically be there next time you want to do it you should just click here and there you go 0 0.0136 tiktok blur and then so once you're done just hit exit out on it and boom so that's how you get your tiktok videos to look nice and good uh that's the only way i know how to do it there's definitely other ways where you can kind of crop it and make it look so that it's like that but one of the main things that you want to make sure is that when you come here and when you hit the track motion you want to make sure that there's like you can see these little like half diamonds 
sometimes you can like you can make it so the video would like like the blur or like it kind of extend out over the video you don't want that you want it to be just solid so if you see any lines or any like diamonds in the middle here you want to just delete those and then come click back over on the first three and then do it from there because if you don't it will end up actually stretching out the video or stretching out the top and bottom portions of the video as it goes along so that's one of the big things you want to make sure for so now time to render it okay so you want to hit file and you want to hit render as okay this will allow you to change how it renders if you don't it's going to save it as a vegas profile and you can't upload those to tiktok to youtube to twitter so you want to make sure you save it so you can have a custom folder you can just go browse and then you can scroll down and find your custom folder uh mine's called toctic actually so this is the one i actually have and you hit save and then you can title it whatever you want so i'm just going to title it Pellington and then I'm just gonna end up deleting it so it doesn't matter what I call it and then so here we can actually the way you want to have it under is the magics AVC ACC mp4 okay and then so here if I click on that and then you're gonna want to have the best one so you're gonna or not the best one you're gonna want to have internet HD 1080p 9 or 59.94 FPS Nvidia NVEC if you have an nvidia graphics card if not just go for the regular one but since we have one and then you can actually make it a preset if you hit customize template you can come here i have mine all custom so you guys can just copy all this down and then remember once you're done make sure the frame rate and the width and height the width should be 1080 height should be 1920 the frame rate 59.940 and then just make sure you put everything here if you like i said if you don't have an nvidia graphics card you're not going to want to choose anything that says nvidia and then if you're going to come over here to project you want to put video rendering quality put that to best and then so that should be good if you like if you have an audio thing if you know i don't know too much about audio but if you want to do that then you can mess around with all that and then so oh first to be able to adjust these you're going to want to hit custom frame size so just make sure you hit that and then once you have it all set up you can name it TikTok and then just hit save and then it, make sure that obviously make sure that's saved down there and then just hit okay so now when you render it it should be coming out as your name dot mp4 and then you can actually favorite it by hitting this little star right here and it'll turn purple and then eventually like once you have enough you can hit show favorites only and it will be up there so then once you're done you just hit render and having it at best will take a bit longer if it's a longer video to do it but it'll make it look better so this is all thank you guys so much for watching uh i'll see you guys actually next week i post try to post every single sunday about 5 30 p.m est and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye